Hello everyone, I'm back again and this time I have proper time to actually make an update because I am at home not working and suffering from what might be an attack. So yes, I want to talk about it. I want to talk about what this attack feels like and how it's been, how it's been progressing and what the outlook is and what kind of thoughts this is stirring up in my head. You probably know if you have MS what kind of thoughts an attack makes you go through. Well I hadn't had an attack in three years so it's a bit of a surprise that I started developing new sim symptoms but then again it's not really a surprise considering how much has been going on and what a huge change of life this has been having a new job, I was constantly with the um, subconscious pressure towards myself that I needed to perform, that I needed to be right, you know, where I had to be and, and be the perfect employee at all times and never get sick and never miss out on anything and always be up to date. And bam, this is when MS kicks you behind your back. Well, my attacks, I've got to say first, my attacks have usually been, what are they called, paroxystic. That is attacks that come and go, symptoms that come and go. I'm not fully sure, I have never been fully sure of whether it was an attack or not, because it would just come. For example, when I stood up, then these attacks will kick in. This is what happened with the double vision, which was my very first diagnosed attack. The same thing happened with my second attack. And the same thing has been happening for the past months and it's only now recently that more symptoms started adding on to the initial symptom that I reacted and that I felt that okay this is more than just tiredness this could possibly be an attack so I was at work on Tuesday and and first the the, the preamble uh, what happened before that every time I stood up from my desk and would go to the restroom I would get dizzy uh, it started with the dizziness, then it slowly started developing into sort of a sensation of my right eye being pulled to the side. You know, really, really uncomfortable feeling like your eye is turning out to the side and feeling like my eyesight is unfocused. And I was seriously looking at myself in the mirror and asking my boyfriends or friends if I was cross-eyed when this happened. But... No, it was nothing, it was nothing physical, like it was nothing visible, it was pu purely neurological. So that was already a sign that something wrong was going on up here. Well, Tuesday, what started happening as well is that these symptoms became more frequent and then I also started experiencing coldness in my face and then I would just when I got these spells, I would practice with myself articulating, like talking, like, you know, just mouthing words to see if my articulation was being affected by the attack. And it did feel kind of sloppy. It was kind of hard to articulate. Actually, as I speak right now, I'm making an extra effort to articulate because I do feel like my mouth is a bit sloppy. <laughs> what happened is that I immediately called the hospital and I asked them to visit me as soon as possible. So I completed my day at work and the hospital then called me back and gave me an appointment for the day after. That's two days ago, Wednesday. Now, the thing is, the irony of the situation, the thing is, since I moved from a hospital to another, they don't have my previous MRIs. And they want to know what my brain looked like before giving me any cortisone because they don't want to give me cortisone and then the lesion is going to shrink and just become like any other scar tissue that I have in my brain. So here I am, enduring the symptoms, taking some days of rest from work. As I slowly start to feel that the symptoms are waning off, the question, the, the you know, the, the, con the, the bad conscience um, of not being at work when I'm actually feeling a little bit better, but not entirely better like I try not to look too much at the screen because it's it does feel like it's messing with my eyes but I get all these questions like should I just tell my boss why it is that I didn't go 
or eternally feel guilty for not having gone to work for these past three days. And you know, it's, it's tricky. And I know that the company that I'm working for is one that defends disability rights actively, proactively, promotes diversity in the workplace and so on. But you can't help but wonder, like, especially being kind of new still. So here I am and I can't rest completely because I have my bad conscience constantly speaking to me like, you should be working, you should be working. But, well, I know that I, something weird is happening with my brain right now. I'm pretty sure of that. And staring at a screen is definitely not going to help it. It's funny, but I guess it's, this is how it is. Just when I felt like MS had gone away because I wasn't experiencing any symptoms from it, all of a sudden it's, it's punching me in the face. All of a sudden it's, it's all over my face. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I guess it's just a, a remembrance never to, never to disrespect yourself. Hey, it's a good lesson for life, regardless of whether you have a chronic illness or not. Remember to get your eight hours of sleep. Remember to drink plenty of water. Remember to eat well, to exercise, to keep a tight schedule, which is what I didn't do. I was so excited about this, you know, new life and feeling, feeling well, feeling stable that I started disregarding all my previous set of rules that ultimately, ultimately is what kept me balanced, I guess. So I'm going to continue resting, but I thought it was appropriate to make an update on this. And, and please do share any thoughts you might have. And especially if you, if you know of this symptom of feeling like your eye is going to, is being pulled to the side. Um, if this has ever happened to you, or if you've heard of something like that happening, the, the doctor was sort of convinced that it was an attack and knew exactly where the attack would have been, namely in, at the root of the cranial nerve. So, but please do share. I'm very curious to know. And, uh, and please do share if you, Stray if you've in the past strayed from your routine healthy habits and this has all of a sudden kicked you in the ass. Know what I'm talking about? So um, yeah, that's it for me today. In the meantime, I hope you're all well, and I'll go back to my bed, close my eyes. I look forward to your comments. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Just looking at the video now, I realize that I could have made myself look a little bit better. I'm sorry about the beard. But with this weird eyesight that I have right now, it's not the best moment to try to trim anything. I might end up hurting myself. So apologies for that.